Okay, so the next batch, we're going to do more with the uh, lag processor. I'm a little obsessed with it, um, and you'll start to see why, because uh, it's just a way to smooth things out, basically. Um, so we're going to take the next patch in the advanced patch book. Um, all we're doing is what we did previously, where I plugged the sample and hold into the filter, and we were generating those rhythms. Um, so that's in the filter chapters, if you want to go back uh, and look to, at those videos. Uh, so we've just added one step. I'm taking the sample and hold out. I'm going to the lag processor and going out of the lag processor into just replacing the, AD, the, fil the um, envelope on the filter here. Uh, so what happens is we get rhythms. Okay, and this is all controlled by the clock here. Okay, as I push a key and hold it down, we get all this stuff happening. It's basically sending the sample and hold frequent uh, voltage to the filter. Okay, and as always, the noise generator is controlling the sort of amount of sample and hold voltage. So as we go higher, we get higher frequencies. Okay, um, sort of more useful if you have the filter down a little bit more. Okay, so you get those big, big um, ranges in frequencies. Um, I'm going to set the noise generator to pink to sort of narrow the amount of voltage that's coming at the filter. Uh, so you hear all those pops where the, the filter is just popping um, as it changes voltage. If we turn up the lag processor, we smooth it out. Okay, and as we move the lag processor in the middle, we get... So we're getting, instead of a popping effect, we're getting a wah effect. Okay, so then I got to thinking, you know, this is great, but if you're playing, you know, an actual line instead of just holding notes, things aren't necessarily going to line up. Uh, so the solution to that, uh, now if you have a Behringer ARP2600, this is over on the left on the Korg and the original version, it's here. You take the trigger output from the keyboard and gate out, uh, out here and we plug it into the external clock. Uh, so what that does is it syncs everything up. So as I push a key, yeah, so you hear more. Okay, so, you know, that's an alternate use. We can turn on an arpeggiator, uh, and we can have it. Now everything's synced. <laughs> okay, and of course, we are not limited to, I'm just using one oscillator, we can do more. So now the filter, everything's synced up, and the sample and hold is running, but it's not popping, it's one. And we can tr control the amount here with the lag processor. All right, so have fun playing with that.